In this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit your ePortfolio, publish your ePortfolio, and then submit that to your teacher through Schoology. So the first step here is editing your ePortfolio. The first thing you have to do at the very top left here it says write your name here. You're just going to highlight that and then replace it with your name. And there's your first part. So inside of here, you have some student directions and what your teacher is looking for, which we'll go over in a second. Underneath that section, we'll have instructions in a tutorial. So this video will actually be right here when you have your copy. And then we want to add an artifact. So here we have unit one with the topic there. And what you're going to do for each unit is that you're going to find a product that you want to submit for your ePortfolio. And when you do that, you're just going to press this plus button and you're going to find it from Google Drive. Maybe you made a YouTube video. You maybe made a graphic in Adobe Spark that you want to add here. You want to upload something that you've made. But you hit that plus button in that box and this selection here shows up. And then where it says click here to edit, this is where you're going to add a written reflection for your work about your learning that took place there and what makes you proud and why you submitted that artifact. So once you're done with unit one, what you're going to do up in the top right hand corner is you're going to hit publish. And what will happen is it will say web address here. So it's going to be given, it's going to be your name and you're going to go ahead and hit the publish button. And it'll say publishing. And at the bottom, you know you've done this correctly when it says your site has been successfully published. And I'm gonna stop here before we go to the Schoology part because when you do unit, the following units, so say you upload an artifact into unit two, you do your written reflection piece, you have to go back and hit the publish button again to get the publish link to make all the changes go over. So it's a little different than Google Docs or Slides in that note, but, uh, but just something you'll have to do so that your teacher can see Unit 2 also. But once you get Unit 1 done, all of a sudden now a little arrow shows up next to Publish. And you can click that, and then you want to hit View Publish Site. And it's loading, and then ta-da, you now have a published ePortfolio with unit one there listed. So once you get that done, what you're gonna do at the top gives you a URL link. So you're gonna go ahead and highlight that. You might not be able to see it in this demo, but it's at the top, uh, right where you would type in any kind of Google search. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to Schoology. So after I copy that, I'm gonna go over to Schoology where the assignment is gonna live at. So this screen might look a little different because you're is going to be your specific block and your teacher might label the title different. But the main thing is you're going to press that submit assignment button. And when you do that, you're going to press creates. And then across the top, you're going to look for the button that says link. You're going to click that. The first box is for your link. So I'm just going to press control V on the keyboard. We'll paste that. And then for your title, I'm going to label this as my ePortfolio. And then I'm going to press insert. And when you do that, it will give you a link here. And all you're going to do is press submit. And then now we've submitted this and we've submitted it on time. And your teacher will now see your ePortfolio link. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your teacher or you can email me directly at william.peterson at lcps.org.